I've never done this type of video before, so uh, just bear with me. And I'm going to focus on uh, doing stuff here. <clears throat> I've never actually tried this before, so we'll see how this works. I got cotton ball completely soaked in petroleum jelly, which is usually good. So. Mm, wind. All right, let's try some uh, stormproof matches. They aren't windproof, but they are stormproof, so. We'll see how this goes. I'll pull out a couple just in case. Okay. Well, that worked a little better. So maybe this will get going. Hope so. Looks like it's gonna get get started. As long as I don't mess it up. Doing everything I can to keep the everything from going up so I didn't bring a plate so that's a two hidden mistake on me but I'm gonna roast some wings I should probably add some more uh, wood to that these wings are already cooked I'm just heating them up basically giving them some smoky flavor I don't know what kind of wood this is it's just twigs I gathered up I got good fire going already just one stormproof match I'm kind of surprised that that done so good. Actually, I'm not going to put no more on there because it's uh, already pretty big. I didn't want a big fire to begin with. But, yeah. So far, so good. Uh, probably putting too much on it. Too much. Directly. Whoop. I wasn't expecting the wind. To get the way it did, uh, it's crazy. It's going, you know, okay now. But there, when I had that fire, I don't even know if I caught it. My phone said it was running out of storage, so I have no idea. Uh, but I didn't bring no plate, so I've got. And I was such a hurry to put it out, I didn't even take my thing off my stick. But I got some hot dogs here. Uh, I wanted to get some footage of the fire, roasting them. But I don't think I did. Uh, if I did, I'll, it'll be playing, of course. You've seen it. But if it didn't, it'll cut to right here. I know I at least got the stormproof matches working. That's insane. I didn't think they would work that good. Uh, just one match, it went lit right up. I didn't expect it. I thought it would be pretty bad because of the wind. That was making me not light up that cotton ball very good. Anyway, have light bread because... Didn't go to the store to get hot dog buns for obvious reasons. Uh, so it's going to be a little weird to eat on camera. So what I'm going to do is get the first bite, see how it tastes, and then fast forward to some updates and stuff that I was wanting to do while I was out here. So uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. But I got a little uh, light bread, you know, and a, 
but a hot dog and some white bread and a bun and ketchup. I don't have no chili. Uh, I put full with a pot with chili over that thing would have been a nightmare. It was already a nightmare just trying to heat it up. So we'll see uh, how we do here. Get some ketchup on there. Oh man. Mmm. I've forgotten what a good hot dog over an open fire, roasted hot dog, tastes like, especially a Nathan. And one of the Nathan ones. That's crazy. I forgot it. It's been so long. I ain't been able to get out, you know. But uh I'm gonna wake these up and uh, I'll do some updates here after I'm done. So I'll cut the camera off to save some space. But there will be more videos coming soon. Um, we, we missed out on our big trip to Chickamauga uh, because of the virus going on. And uh, that sucks. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, we still got some more trips coming this year. I've been fishing a little bit. I just ain't been recording. Uh, I just haven't took the time to fool with it and put the camera on and everything like that. Uh, so mushroom season's in full swing right now, though. Uh, I've been finding tons of mushrooms. Time to go is right now. I even found some today. Uh, I might show them to you later uh, if I think about it. But uh, if you are out there taking moral mushrooms, are they up right now? They are. They are up in full blown, ready to go mode. As far as metal detecting goes, uh, I bought this thing. This is a Mine Lab Equinox 600. And let me tell you, this thing can find tons of stuff. Oof, and hot dogs were very, very good. <laughs> but yeah, this thing, um, I bought it September, October of last year, maybe. Uh, it was a while after I made the videos of the, with my old detector, the Garrett Ace 250, which I still got and uh, don't really use much anymore. Uh, but I'm going to do a video on the metal detecting that I've of the stuff that I found with this thing so far and uh, I found some really good stuff I have uh, and I'm looking forward to going more and more places as uh, the year goes on and the years go on mm -hmm. uh, there's some places I'm really wanting to, to go and I can go to you know and I did get a carbon fiber detect edge shaft for this thing too just it just makes it that much lighter this thing's already like super light as it is and uh i just wanted that upgrade so it would be less wobbly and uh be stronger you know just little things like that that's a little bit of a flex but you know okay i already talked about fishing so i mean uh, just other than there's going to be more videos coming obviously it's just we gotta i just gotta get the motivation to get the camera on and go do it you know and as spring is coming as spring's here uh and summer's coming i can go fish the river more once it uh stops flooding from all the rain we've had uh thought i heard a car anyway sasquatch sasquatch <laughs> while i'm here i want to talk about this thing my goodness mora knives it's crazy i've never had a a knife that is so good for cho so cheap i mean this is what 12 15 dollars and it's incredible it's razor sh sharp i mean you can shave with it i can shave with it but i'm not going to obviously but uh uh i bought several of these things just to have for like processing deer and stuff uh I ain't never processed the deer with one before, but I'm sure it'll be good just based on how sharp it is and how well the blade is designed. It's super easy to sharp too with the Scandi grind on it. That's what it's called. It's a Scandi. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And I'm going to get a Mora 
a bushcrafter here pretty soon. It's got the fire steel built into it, and it's got like a like a sharpener on it too. I'm gonna use that instead of this. This is just a knife. I'm, if I know I'm going in the woods, put this on my side, and I've got a knife in the woods with me, no matter where I go. And that's what the more bushcrafter is gonna replace is this thing. I'm gonna use this for processing deer. While I'm here, I'm gonna uh, throw up a picture of what happened to me on the lake the other day. that uh, really shocked me. I've never had this happen before. So on an Alabama rig, they have these little clips that you clip your swim bait to, and it, it's really strong. Like, I couldn't bend it out myself unless I really was wanting to bend it out, you know. But if I was just to be, you know, like, how I think a fish would pull on it, it wouldn't move, you know. But, I mean, this fish, it had to have been a smallmouth. It pulled so hard that it bent out my clip. I mean, it literally straightened it out and the swim bait slid off with the swim bait in its mouth. I have never seen or had that happen to me or seen it happen to anybody. I, and I, me and Dad were both there just sitting there like, like, like in awe of what happened. I mean, it had to have been a very, very big smallmouth because that's all we caught that day. And it's all up. I mean, it, it felt like a smallmouth too, just the way it fought. Never, ever had that happen before. I thought that was a limb gonna fall right there. <laughs> you gonna fall? If you don't Okay, well that's everything I needed to say. That's the update on everything. Uh that's all we needed to say. The wind's going to mess me up again, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. Uh, updates, and I mean, videos coming in the future. Like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, bye-bye. Hmm. Hmm.